What's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead. I can't go if you're looking at me. Actually, scrap that. I can. I really can. Actually, it's helping. Are we really ready for this to finish? Keep looking at me. The trailer for the Borderlands movie just dropped, and to nobody's surprise, it looks awful. I mean, seriously, does anyone think this is going to be good? Take an honest look at this trailer, dude. These casting choices are some of the worst I have ever seen. Kate Blanchett is 54 years old and she's playing Lilith. You know, I'm not a big fan of Borderlands to say the least. I actually really don't like these games for reasons that maybe I'll briefly cover in this video to pad out the length. Just being honest here, guys, there's not really eight minutes of content worth going over here. But despite my personal distaste for the series, one thing that you can't take away from it is that it has some absolute bombshells, and Lilith is no doubt one of them. But instead of, you know, getting some young, pretty, 20-something, up-and-coming actress, we have this old, worn-out, roasty hag. Then we have Kevin Hart as Roland. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? because we can't just have a traditional masculine character. No, all of your heroes will be emasculated and made into soy jacks and clowns. Then we've got Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. May I remind you that Jamie Lee Curtis has a portrait of a dead child in a box in her fucking dining room. This bitch is a psycho, she's probably a Satanist. And again, another old hag to play a relatively young character. Then we have Ariana Greenblatt as Tiny Tina. I didn't even remember who the hell this was. I looked her up and she's the annoying bitch from Barbie who represents every teenage Zoomer brainwashed into thinking women are oppressed and we have way too high standards for them and men are horrible, disgusting, etc, etc. I guess Jack Black as Claptrap is okay, but there's no reason they couldn't have just used the original voice actor. Not that I ever liked Claptrap in the first place. And Krieg is Krieg. I suppose I don't see anything wrong with his portrayal. I don't know, he's just a big psycho dude, and apparently he's Tiny Tina's bodyguard in this. Why the hell is Tiny Tina even here? Everyone hates her. Seriously, find me someone who likes Tiny Tina. They don't fucking exist, except the writers for Borderlands, who, as we all know, are the least funny motherfuckers in the universe, so is any shock that the trailer doesn't have one good joke in it either? There's a random part where they just get piss into their mouth. Are they driving through a river of piss? I don't even know. What is the fucking context here? It's pee. It's pee. Why do you think it's called piss wash? How did I get the name? It's in my mouth. The pee pee is funny. It get in the mouth. Wowie zowie. You got the whole squad laughing. Oh, and I guess Bobby Lee's in it too. Not that I care. Considering how painfully unfunny the Borderlands games are, what better place to cast washed up comedians than the film adaptation? And so I'm not gonna be the guy who's gonna tell you, oh, this is gonna totally butcher Borderlands. It's gonna be nothing like the games. Cause I never fucking liked the games in the first place. They're okay looter shooters. I do somewhat feel bad if you are a real fan of the series because this is obviously just gonna be more extremely woke garbage, but then again, the games were kinda woke too, so I don't know what you're expecting. If the only good element of Borderlands was the gameplay, this is a movie, it doesn't have gameplay. So obviously it's gonna be shit. I honestly have no idea why this movie's even being made. Nobody asked for this. But I'm sure there's going to be some idiots who watch it anyway because they're super fans of this mediocre series. I'm not even sure I really have much to say about the trailer itself. I'm not going to break down every scene. It just kind of looks like a generic action comedy movie with, again, some of the worst casting I've ever seen. It reminds me a lot of the Uncharted movie where it's like even if this does sort of capture the tone of the games, the casting is so bad it's going to ruin the experience regardless. This is yet another reminder that we're not allowed to have any attractive women in modern media. It's just absurd to me that they're having these old bags play characters who are like in their late 20s or 30s. And these aren't even the vault hunters from the first Borderlands game. Yeah, they got Roland and Lilith, but Brick and Mordecai are nowhere to be seen. I guess they just picked whoever were the most popular characters from the Borderlands series. I wouldn't be shocked if Handsome Jack 
and Torg make some kind of appearance in this. Maybe some other popular characters because, again, they're trying to convince you that this is going to be like the games, so it has to include the most popular things from the games. Not even to appeal to real fans, but to appeal to casual people who recognize those things from the game. But again, I'm not going to pretend to be a Borderlands fan. I'm not. Honestly, I don't even really care, even if I am hamming up my anger a little bit for the video. I am tired of these obviously dog shit video game movies that keep getting made for some reason, because I feel like half the time they don't even make the money back. But I guess some of these studios have stars in their eyes because, at least in the last few years, audience standards have sunk so low that the Uncharted movie can be financially successful. And I don't think I need to tell you that the two Sonic movies and the Mario movie made a shit ton of money. But already I'm struggling to find things I actually want to say because there isn't much to say. This is obviously going to be bad. Please don't watch it unless you're going to pirate it or something. There's no way it's going to be so bad it's good. It's just going to be painful. But as with all popular media in the modern day, there's an endless supply of cheap shills and literal chat GPT bots that are going to hype this thing up enough that dumb people are going to go see it anyway. And as much as I hate to admit it, there are a lot of people who genuinely think Borderlands humor is funny. They call it Reddit humor for a reason. Because Redditors, some of the lowest life forms on the planet, actually like this stuff. And some of you might be wondering why haven't I covered Halo Season 2. Well, honestly, I just didn't really want to. I saw episode 1. The first 15 minutes were okay, and then it was boring as shit. And from what I hear, the next two episodes are even more boring. So I probably will make at least one video talking about it, but for now, I would rather actually just wait for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to come out, and I'll cover that. Over the last few weeks, I've been playing through Final Fantasy VII, the original, for the first time, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I would have made a video on it, but I feel like there's already a thousand videos talking about Final Fantasy VII. I do have some issues with the game, it certainly hasn't aged perfectly, but I've definitely been having a lot of fun with it. It grew on me the further I got into the game, really got into the character's plot, etc, etc. And over the next week, I'm going to play through part one of the remake, so everything will be very fresh on my mind for when Rebirth comes out. And after I review Rebirth, I'm going to finally finish my Dragon's Dogma 1 retrospective, and then maybe there will be a Halo video in there somewhere in March, and then Dragon's Dogma 2 will be out, and, well, let's just say I'm really hoping it's going to be good. I'm not going to ramble about it again. I'm sure this video has already hit the 8-minute mark, but if you're curious about the video schedule for the next month, there you go. I'll see you next time, guys.